hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get into it, hey? Well, here we are. Here's all of the paints pre-mixed. Oh, I had this over to stop suicidal flies. I, um, oh, look, there's a tiny little bit of skin on there, and I only made these, uh, less than an hour ago. I just wanted to run through the colours. So we have got warm blue here. Metal, oh no, that's not metallic lavender, that's just the straight up purple. Sorry, guys. This one's Southern Seas. This one I've chosen to use the oh, white, is it the white diamond? Yeah, diamond in the metallic global range. This one's the metallic fuchsia. And this one, whilst you can't see it, it's a combination of antique silver and the lavender, which was the purple, purpley, um metallic range in the global impasto and in the sun you can see just the tiniest flicker of the purple come through so I'm going to be doing some galaxy pouring and I have to choose uh, which one of these is going to be my swiping color I'm going to use this flat purple so that the other ones that are metallic can sparkle up through and today we're going to be using Boom Booster Boom Gel Stain Cell Enhancer. This has been created to use with Boom Gel Stain, but as we all know, anything that's silicon or dimethicone based is interchangeable. So let's see how these this goes in our global. Um, it could be exciting. I've got a really good feeling about it. Um, what's the ratios? One third of the global paint brought up to consistency with my homemade pouring medium there's a recipe on the thread the YouTube thread about how I make my medium all right let's get down to it um oh the other interesting thing that we're doing today is we're going to pour on a rock and not just pour I'm going to try and do a swipe on the rock so I want to do a swipe I'll take you straight over because I have set it up. Look, here's the camera thing. Um, and I have set everything up to be as level as I possibly can. I don't know how else to make this much leveler. Oh yeah, I can lift that other side up a bit more. I'll do that. So it's a nice flat rock and it's this big. So that's the palm of my hand. And one of my lovely 10 by 10s. I love 10 by 10s so much. Um, I just really, really love them. Why? I don't know. You know how you, you, we all go through phases? Well, I'm just going through a 10 by 10 phase. Look at all my tiles drying over there. Anything else of interest to show you while I'm out and about? We've all had a look at my organites. There's 24 more curing. Are we out of control? Not too bad today. Hello, Artie Van, that's always open. Yeah, all right, let's get on with it. Around this side. Oh, I forgot to check to see if you can see what I'm doing with the paints. Can you actually see the paints? Mm, not really. All right, I'm just going to have to do it like this then. One, two, three, four, five. Probably not a bad idea so that I keep the nice purple that I'm using as the swiping color over here. So here we go, we're about to add our gel stain booster and I'm just going to add three drops because it's super potent. One, two, three. And I wonder if you can even see how it, two, three. Oh God, it seems I can't. One, two, three, count and talk at the same time. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that one popped out. Um, I'm gonna come around and just see if you can see how that's interacting with the paint. Can you see those three dollops that I've or dots that I've put in? I'm literally gonna fold it twice. One, two. Kaz messaged me before because I let her know I was gonna be doing a little bit of a video, and she said she actually doesn't even stir her boom in and that if she does she just does a figure eight let's do a figure eight like that 
um, isn't it funny how old, it's really hard for me not to do my normal way of uh, applying or letting the silicone go in, I can't talk, sorry guys, I, I really can though, can't I, how often in my videos do I go, oh, I can't talk, and I still keep managing to talk. Oh, I've got no gloves on, how painful. I am gonna go and get a pair of gloves on because I do um, paint way too much to not wear gloves. And if you paint regularly like I do, wear gloves, you know, you, we don't know the long-term effects of any of this stuff on our skin. And I have it on my skin every day, so that's it, I wear gloves, gloves. I have two types of gloves, both are latex-free. I've heard of lots of people getting reactions to latex so I just don't use it. Um, I have nitrile gloves, which are my black gloves. Um, they add a different level of protection. I think they're meant to have a tighter weave in the plastic so that things are less inclined to seep through. And I use them double layered, sometimes even triple layered for my resin work. And the triple layer is not about safety, but about this reason one pair on for my skin coverage, second pair on for double protection, third pair on. Third pair means I can do this and peel a pair off and still have gloves on and keep working rather than trying to put another set of gloves on when your hands are sweaty. Great tip. Wish I knew where I got it from so I could credit that person, but we can't remember everything, can we? Right, so... Let's go. Oh, I wish I had my little pouring spout cup things. We're going to do a swipe. And I'm doing it on the diagonal, so it's not very diagonal, is it? Let's just see how we go and how I feel. As we all know, um, part of my pouring and probably part of everyone's pouring is planned. And another massive part of it's intuitive. Intuitive pouring. Nothing on the canvas, by the way. So we're pour I'm pouring straight onto the canvas. I um, used to love doing diagonal swiping. Do you remember Carl? Carl, what was his surname? Carl Mew Mewers? Oh, he, he got me onto diagonal swiping ages and ages ago. And there was this one particular video where he did some gorgeous, oops, um, diagonal swiping and then did the silver leaf or gold leaf. I can't remember. Maybe I did the silver leaf and he did the gold leaf. Um, and I was inspired by him and did my own variation of it. That was gorgeous. I loved it. Right. I haven't seen him, any of his work lately. I've subscribed to him. I wonder if I'm not following up on my subscriptions properly. It's a bit naughty of me if I if I'm um, missing some of his nice work. He was a great inspiration to me. I've got lots of people who inspire me. So many good pourers out. Oh, look, I'm going out of order, but it doesn't matter because in the swipe, it will do its own thing anyway, won't it? Whoa. I think I want a bit more of the fuchsia in. Leaving this space here for the purple. Oh, I've got no white in yet. Well, imagine doing a nice little drizzle of the white through here. And again through here. And back up here. These is uh, these are galaxy colours. I love galaxy stuff at the moment. Do you go through phases of palettes? Oh god I do. Always tend to come back to my favourites though purples and greens. There's quite a few of us who love purples and greens, don't you reckon? 
I'm gonna add a little bit more blue here so that when it comes down it's oh, vibrant-ish. I wonder how it's gonna go when I do the rock. Should I lay it out on the rock? No, I don't think I will yet. I think we'll swipe this and then we'll lay it out on the rock. Um, make this little part a bit thicker for my purple and covering the corner here I don't worry so much about this space here because it will be covered by the paint that comes down well, that gets brought over by the swipe. I do want to and same over here. Nice, glossy, slidey, creamy, delicious paint. Love it. I um, was hoping I'd have a bit more paint left over than I'm seemingly going to because I wanted to um, maybe do a flip cup after this so that we could you know, see how paints look, the same palette in a different style. I love doing that. Okay, I haven't even got my swiping tool with me. How silly is that? nice and covered bring that across there I can't see oh I can feel though that's raw isn't it I don't know if you can see it oh where's my um there's my towel okay we're ready to swipe what am I going to... oh I do have my swiping tool I'm a duffer I just use my spatula today it's not as much an, of an angle as I was hoping I obviously didn't think about that so much as I was going might start from the center out. Okay, so the purple is quite heavy, much heavier than I thought. I'll, I'll turn that around just because it's easier. I was going to guesstimate it, you know. don't like that I'm gonna have to have a think about that in a moment might get a small oh no I'm just gonna swipe it now just so that it's over and done with no I'm not I'm being indecisive I probably would have been better off using one big bit of plastic so that I didn't get these interferences oh did you see that I forgot to wipe my swiping tool and if there's one really good rule with your swiping it is to wipe your swiping tool in between every swipe you do that was a little bit light don't know what happened with my thinking then probably wasn't thinking here we go that's better let me just give that a tap there on the sides Colors are really, 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 really to my liking a lot. I am going to just swipe there again. I'm not minding the little bit of extra color that's coming through. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, that's it. On this side, just giving that a little press on the side there. And here too. To 
drizzle. Okay, now I've just remembered we're using boom stain gel. Um, not boom stain gel, we're using boom stain booster. How is it going? Well, the cells are nice, that's for sure. Where's my torch? Oh, it's all the way over there. That's all right, we'll get it in a minute. Let's do a turn around. Colors are really, 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 really nice. All right. And as I did that one, I was just wondering if I should have added a little bit more purple. But, you know, the purple is what I'm using for the swipe, but it seems to have been all right. And I'm going to add just a tiny little bit more there. Ooh, too much. Okay, so I'm just going to be so brave and just do this now and get on with it. Don't like that line. Okay, here I go. Oh, didn't swipe my tool again. This side's not being as nice as the other side. That's better. That was a bit more of a reveal. It's not so galaxy as I thought, you know. It's much more peacock-like, which is fine because galaxy, peacock, same colors, different day. Nice. Ooh, that was me just trying to swipe, uh, do that over there. I love my deep sides. It is just like a whole other canvas. All right. I am going to have a good think about this. I feel like I want to put another line of the purple and just go again. So, because I feel like that, that is what I'll do. I haven't kept the angle, I've been accidentally bringing it straight, so that could be part of what's going on. Oops, Get that I brought that up too high. Hang on. Now I'm swiping too much. This is one of my big issues. I uh, tend to swipe too much and then can swipe away my loveliness. In one of my videos, I complain about it ferociously. <laughs> I did get some comments that were quite funny, you know. Maggie, lighten up, it's okay. Of course it's okay. But my reaction to my own art process. Okay. I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute. Oh, bugger. Because I actually really wanted to cover that. Oh, bugger. Okay. So what can I do? I'm actually going to pull it through. I really like that. Oh, 
I'm gonna pull some of this like that just because I want to see some difference and I like having some different dimension at times too and add some sense of movement look at that silver coming up it's not the bottom of the canvas um, I'm feeling like I want to do this so then I'll do it so my whole notion of wanting to have a diagonal straight diagonally influenced swipe's gone out the window now I'm going to push that back because I want to see the patterns and the way that the colours merge. I'm whispering now, sorry, that's not helpful to you. You're all the way over there on the camera stand. Alright, I do like it. I like it because the movement is different and it adds a much greater sense of interest to me. as well. It's nice. I really like it. Okay. So I was going to try and swipe on my rock, aren't I? So, well, I don't know why I'm not going to continue to try and do that. Oh, there's some awesome paint down here. Maybe I'll just try and scoop that up and land it on the rock. See how that goes. Oops. And it's caught up with itself. Wendy in our Ready Steady Pour group did the most amazing rock piece most recently and that's what her piece really inspired me to just get some rocks and see what I can um, create with them. Now there are some colours under here that want to come out. I want to get some more of the paint that's over there. So I'm going to do that for a minute and then I'm going to do this. It's very awkward, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if that was worth it. Um, actually, I'll come around this side and maybe I'll move this to all the way over here for a second. And that's better. Oh, the rock's better than the substrate. Well, the rock, I should say the rock substrate is more appealing to me than my canvas substrate. How hilarious. Didn't need to swipe it. It's doing its own thing beautifully. Thank you very much, said the rock. I like being covered in paint. I'm being awfully careful to try and not let my paint muddy up too much. Oh, 
far out so the phone rang. So you missed the beautiful rock getting done. Nonetheless, I've decided that I'm going to flip cup on this. Flip cup. I'm going to do, maybe not a flip cup, I'm going to pour some into a mini cup and I'm going to spiral in the middle. Just too heavy purple. And I just want to see what type of different effects I get because some of this is still emerging really, really beautifully. Like the Boom Stain Gel is ridiculous in regards to what it's showing its potential to be okay so I've got quite a bit of white in there um, a dash of the purple because that's the only one that's got no silicon I'll do a little bit of the blue a little bit of the turquoise A little bit of the pink. Pink's not as vibrant as I hoped. I had the same experience when I mixed it up the first time. All right, so here's my plan. I'm going to do a wandering ring down the middle here to break it up a bit. Here's looking really, really nice and interesting. And that's looking amazing. Okay, so here we go. A wandering ring. Ready, set, go. I'm gonna go around that. It will probably get lost anyway. cut back through it break it up I'm gonna go over that cell there hear the next door neighbors dogs arguing they love an argument Okay. The big question is, is am I going to tilt it? Because if I tilt, I'm definitely going to lose some of this beautifulness over here. But I would like to see what this comes out like. So, what the answer is, is to bring you down to have a look at this. Because we're going to lose it. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And then we can all talk about what we preferred before. So that corner's nice, and I want to sh give you the zoom in to see how efficient and gorgeous these cells are with um, the Boom Booster. As you saw, I didn't do any stretching at all. They've grown to this size on their own, um, and just the flickering of the torch. The clustering of these cells are just stunning to me. I love them. But I am going to stretch this twirly part out now and let's see what it comes out like. Oh, by the way, here is the most beautiful rock. Thanks, Wendy, for that inspiration once again. It's gorgeous. All right, back up you go and let's tilt and not be scared of what we're about to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep this side, which will be hard because no matter which way I tilt, the things are going to move. So I'm going to push it and we'll let all that paint fall. And let's see what forms from the movement. Okay, well, contrary to what I said, I'm actually bringing it this way. 
so that when I pull it that way, it has some awesome stretch in it. I should really have some tiles or something underneath to capture this beautiful paint that's just going down there. Oh, my cells on the other side are, they're all moving. I'm pulling it down now. I should be trying to let you see what's happening. It's looking really, really interesting and gorgeous, but I'm loving um, the contrast. So what I'm going to do is any moment now, pull it back up and see what I can get with having some of the original cells and then some of the ring in a more organic way more organic way I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm just talking crap now to fill in time isn't it funny when you do a video you have this sense that you should talk the whole time and keep the audience entertained but you know what you are watching so that's all that really counts all right I'm gonna stop now and I really love all of this the cells here whilst they're obscure are providing a beautiful amount of movement and this blooming here oh it's just stunning I will um, wipe my hands give it a quick torch and show you Oh, it's really 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 nice really nice can you see it want to come and have a closer look there you go Nate. oh whoops now some people don't like these caterpillar cells I adore them I think they're the most delicate gorgeous looking things in the whole entire world I like them better than big blooming cells half the time see how interesting that all looks it's going to look beautiful in a day or two when it's dry um, that reminds me I need to do a video to show you a lot of the dried things we've done all right I'm going to pause this and go and get another canvas and let's do a flip cup with some of this leftover paint right, just to see how it goes hey with a little cup because it's only a little canvas so it will only be a little flip cup now I have to remember that this purple is the purple that has none of the booster in it so it can go to the bottom because that will hold the cells it's a little bit thick and the white and I don't want the pink next because it'll get too lost in the white and a turquoise and I might do the pink after the turquoise because I love turquoise and pink purple it's a really nice kind of purple and then the vibrant blue and then another bit of this purple and then another little bit more of white and then another bit more of the grey. The grey took over in the swell before, did you notice? Do you find it amazing how certain colours take over? God, I do. And then a little bit more turquoise. Alright. And I'm going to put it here and pull it there. So I want to have some colour around here and because this is the only colour that has no silicon it's going to be this. Alas my friends I can always mix up some more to do the sides and I, and I will probably do that. Okay. So I'm just going to drag that across just so that the canvas is nice and moist so that when the paint flips off it can 
Slide and glide. Slide and glide, hey? That's right, slide and glide. Oh, I'm going to come down on this side here so I can pull that across and then pull this up here. Oh, you know those icing, um, icing tools that make your icing nice and smooth? I'm going to get one of them for this exact thing so that I can get nice, fast, smooth coverage much more quickly than what I'm attempting to do right now. Alright, that's enough mucking around, isn't it, really? Like I'm... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's enough. Come on. Oh, God, sometimes I just can't help it. Right. Ready? I'm gonna... <gasps> I'm going to pull this direction and let's see how we go. Ooh, nice work. What I'm doing with my cup is just letting some of this paint come out on its own. I'm just slowly pulling it so it doesn't have the cup shape, but the patterns that are forming. Oh, did you see? I wasn't watching the cells bloom. Now talk about a really good boom stell, boom stell, boom booster experience or evidence of how efficient it is for its cell making. That was it. I mean, wow, wait, that's gorgeous. Gonna give it a little bang. Did you ever do that instead of getting your torch out? All right. So the one area that where I will need to tilt is over here, but I'm just gonna let that keep spreading for a bit on its own, and just be ever so patient and see how these cells keep on forming and shaping. I'll give it a quick torch now. Uh, hear that roar? Literally just to pop the air. I wonder what's left in that. Oh, not much. I'm going to just drag some of this silvery colour across the back here. Well, it's not drag, is it? as much as, well, I'm literally pouring it. And just do that. All right, are we ready? We're not going to tilt too much, says me, who's the dreadful, dreadful tilter from hell. I'm going so, so slow. There's quite a bit of paint on there, even though those cups are only 100 mils. For a 10 um, by 10 canvas, it's a huge amount. So I'm just going to let this slowly creep over to the other side of the canvas, as you can see, and then I'll bring it back to the, towards me a little bit more to straighten them out a bit, like so, to help keep their nice round shape, unlike the other canvas where we have obscure cells. Do you find people become obsessed with the shape of their cells? And 
this a whole lot more that's going on in the painting. <gasps> wow, just saw a coyote. I had a few paws with dogs in them lately. I've been wondering what the message is from the universe for me. It's been making me take care of my dog a little bit more too because I'm just wondering if she's okay. I must contact my friend Sharon because I think my dog's got ear mites and her dog's had ear mites a little while ago and she found a nice natural remedy for them. And I'm pretty sure she was successful. She's an amazing woman, successful in anything she does. So she certainly would have. Anyone yelling stop yet? Part of me wants to speed up. I get like that too. quite egg like isn't it you know I just actually want to do a massive pour and let it all drizzle off there so because that's what my intuition is I'm going to I'm going to let it stretch and fall and see what the patterns are bring it back now and let's see what forms Okay, lots of people probably would have shuddered at that because there were some gorgeous looking cells in there but I really feel so confident with this boom that cells will reform and they are look at that so I'm going to pull this one back a bit this side not too much more but just a little bit more over to the purple and I know that there will be more cells coming up just due to the nature of this awesome cell booster it, it really does what it claims by the way you must uh, be told at this point that I don't sell boom stain gel have no intentions of selling boom stain gel I just actually really love trying new products so um, being active in the pouring field I guess I do chat to people about their products that they make directly and have a buy my own and have a play with it I love it don't know about the size of this canvas though yo across there didn't feel too good at all very bare very bare All right, I don't know why I'm carrying on like that. It's going to be a long video. Maybe I should fast forward it. What do you reckon? I'm going to put it in the sun a bit so you can see it. Oh, it didn't really help, did it? It's nice. Colors are really, 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 really nice. Well, I've still got more paint, so what do you reckon next? A dip? All right, fine, we'll do a dip next. Shadow coming over. All right, two little eight by tens for the dip. You can see I've been handling it because of that amazing purple. Everything now that we use has got um, the booster in it so let's just wet our canvas with a bit of the diamond and I like to do that because when we do a dip it's nice for the paint on both paint to be on both sides so it's got something to start with as much as I want to um, rub my hands across this I'm not going to let myself do that because I've got so much purple on it. Okay, let's see how this is going to come out. Will we do a puddle pour? Yeah, puddle pour. Puddle. 
there and a puddle there. A little bit of the silver and a little bit of the silver. Probably do a thin line down here just because I'm hoping it's going to be butterfly because I love butterflies. Love them. Here. And here. And here. And here. And a line of white. And a line of white. And a little bit more of the pink there. And a little bit more of the pink there. Oh, I've just realised that I've got quite a bit of paint and so bringing them together is going to be not as um, glamorous as I thought, which is usually why you only do one side, by the way. Uh. Alright, let's do it. I'm just going to be really, 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 really super efficient and fast. Go. Alright, it's on. So, dip, 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 here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. I just wanted a little bit more of that. I'm going to do it one more time, like that, just so it's a bit more mirrored. That's better. This time... I'm going to let these colours drip down that direction to pull the butterfly wing shape downwards and then inwards on an angle like that. No idea exactly um, how it's looking at this point. How's it going? Good? Oh, that side's more than this side so let's try and help this side down a bit more but it might just simply be the weight of the paint and it might not make it mm. don't like it so I'll just try it again So going to add some more paint. I'm going to add heaps of paint. Like way too much paint and just see what happens. much much better all right i feel like i want to torture but i'm not going to we've got to give it time for these cells to naturally come up because part of what today's showing is all about is how that boom enhancer works where is it it's just here that boom gel stain enhancer works really forming nicely let's go with a gentle torching we don't need to encourage these cells to come out. They're still coming out all on their own. All on their own. Really, really gorgeous. Got a really nice combination of the plump round cells, the little dainty cells and a little bit of effective lace working. And just, you know, some nice interest up and in amongst these parts here. This looks like a dirty canvas, but what I will do with this when it's dry is cut out the best parts of it and put them in miniature frames. And they make really cute 
gifts for people to have on their desk you know and it helps it's just really pretty and really nice and really effective and I've noticed that people really appreciate something cute and pretty in their work area especially little things like that for places where people don't have their own office okay I'm taking my gloves off and bringing you down for the close-up of everything You're really in the shade there. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. How pretty, how pretty. Really, really, really nice. And the cells are still growing. Do you like the little dainty areas too? This will look really amazing when it's dry because of the parts that have got the metallic in them. Let's whip around and see how our other pieces are going. Remember this piece we just created? Look at the cells. They've just kept going and going. I really like that. I'm not sure what side it would be on, but I'm sure I'll see something in there too. And here's our first one, which was the swipe that I went a bit extra um, dynamic, I'll say. I went extra dynamic. And the gorgeous rock. And that's today's. Okay.